Hey guys, welcome to the video and to the channel for those who are new. And this is going to be part one of my little mini series of tutorials for the switch regarding cheats. In this part one, we are going to cover how to manually install and update cheats and then how to also update them using a homebrew. I'm going to tell you about the pros and cons of each one and really how you should be doing both. Then we'll show you how to use the cheat very quickly using Edison and using the Edison overlay. And as I go along, I'm going to give you various tips and suggestions and things like that, that other people just don't discuss, but I think they're important enough because they can definitely enhance your experience with using and or finding uh, cheats for your games. Then in part two, I'm going to show you how you can change the title ID of your cheat so that it matches the game that you have installed so that the cheats can work. I'm also going to cover how to change the build ID, which is otherwise known as the version of your game, because the title ID and the build ID need to match in order for those cheats to work for your game. And if they don't, then they won't work. So we'll cover that in part two. And then part three will be how you can bring up your cheats. And by default, they are all turned off. I've seen this mentioned over and over again in various of my videos in the comments section and also in various forums because there are some instances depending how your system is set up where when you open up the cheats to a game they're turned on no matter for which game it is all the cheats are just turned on by default and most people want them to be off and so that way they can turn on just the ones they want and I will show you how to do that in part three. Now this video will not show you how to jailbreak your switch. It's assumed that you already have a modded system. It's also assumed that you know your way around a modded switch, how to install homebrews, how to get files in and out of the SD card. So it's assumed you know all of that. I also won't be covering how to find and discover and make Make your own cheats for a particular game because modded warfare already did that tutorial and he did a fantastic job and honestly i don't think i could possibly do a better job than he did he was very thorough and detailed so i'll put a link in the description to that video and with all that out of the way let's go ahead and let's get started all right, so as you no doubt have noticed, we've been hanging out here at GBA Temp, and this is where the main database is for all of the cheats for your Switch. Now, this file is only about two megabytes big, but this is all just text files. There are cheats here for hundreds upon hundreds of games, probably more than six or 700 games. So it's relatively small because it's just all text. Anyway, this is how we are going to manually install and update our cheats in our switch and i highly recommend that you do this at least probably once a week once every two weeks or once about a month depending how often you use cheats and install games anyway you want to come here either on your pc or through your phone or wherever you want to go ahead and download that file so go ahead and do that now and let's move on to the next step Okay, and before we proceed, there's two or three things we need to make sure you have. First is the AIO switch updater. This is a fantastic homebrew that makes it super easy to update cheats for games that you already have installed, but it does so much more. Anyone who has a modded switch should absolutely have this installed. Just come here, grab the latest version from right here. The AIO switch updater zip is all you need. You don't have to worry about the rest of this stuff for now. You need to make sure you have Edison SE also installed in your system, which you probably already do. But in case you don't come here and grab the latest version, the Edison zip. And then the last thing, although it's not a requirement, it's totally optional, but I highly recommend it because it makes using cheats 120 million percent easier. And that is the Tesla overlay menu. If you use Deep Sea, like the full version or regular version of Deep Sea, it comes with the Tesla overlay menu already installed, plus various overlay menus, including the Edison one. But if you don't have it installed, you can follow my tutorial. I show you how to install it easily and even how to install the Edison overlay, which we will be using here today as well. If you're not sure whether you have it or not, just give me a minute or two. We'll get to the point where I'll show you what you need to 
do in order to see if you have it installed and make it pop up. So once you've gathered together all of this stuff, let's go ahead and let's continue. All right, now go ahead and get access to your SD card. Yours should look similar to mine's if you use Atmosphere. If you downloaded any homebrews like the AIO Switch Updater or Edison SE, make sure you go ahead and put those homebrews into the Switch folder. You already know what to do there. Now, when you downloaded all the cheats, what should have downloaded is this titles.rare file. So you're gonna open that up and then you'll see a folder in there called titles. Go ahead and extract that folder. Just give it a few seconds. And once it's extracted, we no longer need the zip file. So you can get rid of it if you want to. Okay, so now in your SD card, you're gonna look for the atmosphere folder. You're gonna go into that and then you're gonna go into a folder called contents. And once you are here, now you're going to go back to this folder here that we extracted, the titles one. You're going to open it and you're going to highlight everything and copy and paste or drag and drop all of this stuff into the contents folder and then just wait for it to finish. Now, if for some reason you're using an old version of Atmosphere, you may not find the contents folder. What you are going to have is a folder called titles. So just go into the titles folder and drag and drop or copy and paste everything here into that titles folder. Also for people who are using SXOS, I believe you use titles. So just find the titles folder and copy and paste everything here into that folder. But most people using Atmosphere will have this contents folder. So let's just copy everything here and paste it over. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. And this is going to take a little while, even though this folder is only eight megabytes in size. There are 1300 folders here as of right now. And there's a total, I think, of 5700 files that have to be transferred and they're very small files. So it takes maybe about like three or four minutes to transfer over. I highly recommend that you take the SD card out of your switch, turn it off, take it out and directly connect it to your PC or put it in your phone or whatever, because I've noticed when I try transferring all of these files over using FTP or some other method, sometimes it doesn't work that great. It gets stuck like at 99% or 98% or sometimes the copy process doesn't even begin. I mean, you could try it if it works for you, great. But if you run into trouble, just remove the card. So this is one of the cons of doing this method is that you may run into trouble and then you have to take out the card and it could be a little bit inconvenient and just a, a little bit time consuming. So I'm going to go ahead and let this finish and then I'll be right back. Okay, so once everything is done copying over and you put everything into your SD card, if you removed the SD card from your switch, put it back into your system and then reboot it or boot it up. If you left your SD card inside of your switch and you did this via FTP or by some other method, whenever you do this type of manual update with your cheats where you put all the files in yourself, you need to go ahead and do a full reboot of the switch. Once it's been fully rebooted, we're going to go ahead and our next step is to head on over to the homebrew menu. So let me fire up my switch and we'll continue from there. OK, so we're going to test the Tesla overlay menu real quick just to make sure you have that up and running. You can do this really from anywhere on your switch. Just hold down the L button, then press and hold down the down arrow button and then press and hold down the right thumbstick. When I say hold down, I mean press it in. So hold all three of those at the same time and then the Tesla menu should pop up within a second or two. The only thing we're concerned with here is just to make sure that we have the Edison overlay menu, which we do. You can see it right there. All these extra ones right now don't matter. So you don't need to worry if you don't have them. We're just concerned about the Edison. So we have the Tesla and the Edison there. Now, if you're on deep sea and it doesn't seem to be working, make sure that your Tesla overlay option is turned on. Go into the deep sea toolbox, go into background services, 
and then give it a couple of seconds and you'll see the Tesla option. There it is. Make sure it is turned on. I keep all the rest of these off just to save a little bit on resources and I really don't use the, any of the other ones anyway. So let's go ahead and head back. And now we're going to go into the AIO switch updater. Okay, so here in AIO switch updater, we're going to scroll all the way down to where it says download cheats. We're going to pick the latest version. We're going to wait till it says continue and then just press A. And that's it. Now the cheats that it's downloading and installing are from the exact same file that we used to install the cheats manually. It's the same file. The main difference here is that it's only going to download and install cheats for games that you have installed in your system and it's going to ignore all of the rest. It will not download cheats for any games that you don't have in your system. This is why, as you can see, it finishes much faster. And if you don't see the cheats or you have an issue or whatever, just reboot your system after you've done this and then hopefully they'll show up. Now, keep in mind that not every game uses cheats. It's only a small percentage of games that have them. Anyway, you should be all set. You can go to tools and then when you go here if you head on over to the cheats menu you can view install cheats and see all the games that you have in your system that currently have cheats installed for them and you also have a couple of extra options here okay so now let's go ahead and let's show you how to run and activate the cheats first using the edison homebrew and then using the edison overlay let me go ahead and get into a game and then we'll continue all right, guys, so go ahead and go into your game here. I'm in dead cells. I've already taken some damage. This is my health right here. I'm at 51 out of 100, so I'm about half. When you're ready to use the cheats and we're using the Edison homebrew first, go ahead and either pause your game and then hit the home button or just hit the home button either way. I'm going to go ahead and press the home button. Let's go into album and just press A when you are in the album icon. Then go ahead and select the Edison Homebrew. And if you have cheats for your game, they will auto populate. Don't forget to scroll all the way down at the bottom because sometimes there are more cheats down at the bottom that you can't see here because this only shows you about six or seven cheats at a time. You cannot see the rest of them. So just keep scrolling to see if there's more. For right now, I'm just gonna pick the max health cheat so I'm going to select it with A and then a little X is there. When you're done selecting your cheat or cheats, press the home button again. And now just go right back into your game. Just press A. And there we go. Now my health is at max, 99.99. It's all the way full. And let's go looking for a little bit of trouble. Let's see what happens. My health should remain full all of the time. Come on, guy. There we go. So I'm getting hit and my health is not going down. OK, I'm going to go ahead and reset the game and I'm going to show you how to use the overlay menu. All right. So to use the overlay, a couple of things here, I highly recommend that you first put the game in pause because with the overlay, things are still going to be happening in your game. So if you're getting hit or something and you bring up the overlay, the game is still going to be working in the background. So I always recommend you put the game on pause. Also, pressing the button combination may do something that you don't want to happen in the game. So go ahead and pause the game and then hold down L, hold down the down arrow button and press in on the right thumbstick. Do all three at the same time and then hold them for like a second or two and the Tesla menu will pop up. You're looking for the Edison module, which we have right here. These all are extra ones that I just happen to have install. Uh, you don't need them. We just need the Edison one. So go ahead and go into that, go into cheats. And if you have cheats for your particular game, they will populate here and they're going to be the same cheats that are in the um, Edison homebrew because it's the same exact cheat file. When you're here, if you see some cheats that are too long and you can't see what they say, just leave it on there for a couple of seconds and then you can see it begins to scroll and you can read what's there. And then all you need to do here is just select A to turn on or off one of the cheats. Now in part three of this tutorial, I'm going to show you how when you bring these up to make sure that they're all turned off. Some people have issues depending how their system is set up 
where when they open up the modules or they go into the Edison homebrew, everything by default is turned on. And most of the time you don't want that to happen. So anyway, I'm going to do this again. I'm going to just select max health. When you're done selecting your cheats, just keep pressing B. Let's go ahead and unpause our game. And there we go. There's my health going up to 99.99 again. And then I should be able to get hit without anything happening. All right, so that's pretty much going to do it for the video, guys. Now, before I end it, I just want to mention real quickly, part two is going to explain how to change the title ID and the build ID in case the ones that are in the cheat of a particular game don't match the version of the game you have. And that way, when you change them, you can hopefully get those cheats to work. That's one of the downsides when you use AIO Switch Updater. It doesn't download all the cheats, just the specific ones for the games that you have in your system that match perfectly but when they don't match if you have those cheats installed you won't be able to use them but at least edison will tell you that something is wrong you can't use the cheats because the version of the game you have does not match and in that case then we know we have to change something so that's one of the benefits of doing the downloads and installs of the cheats manually we're going to go more into detail with all of that in part two you know i appreciate you watching don't forget if you found anything here informative useful helpful in any way or you just want to throw love or appreciation towards the channel make sure to hit that like button subscribe hit the notification bell all that jazz much love going out to everyone out there be careful be safe make sure you have fun and i will catch you on the next one